Welcome back to another video, my friends. My name is Bijan T, and in this video, we're going to be doing another quick little trade recap for you guys on a trade that I did in which I made about a $1,300 profit with less than $3,700 invested, and the trade took about an hour long. So let's just jump right into this trade. And if you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you check out some of my other videos as well, but after you watch this one. Let's jump into it now. Alrighty, my friends. So in this video, we're going to be going over a trade that I did on this X here. It was about a $1,300, $1,400 profit. We'll call it $1,350 just for the sake of simplicity here. Uh, now, it's a, a little bit of a different trade than I normally do. Uh, normally, the day trades that I do are usually just real quick within the morning. Usually, I'm done within like the first 30 minutes to the hour of the morning. Uh, the reason for that is because the biggest moves happen in the morning. For example, look at this Twitter. You can see it went from a high of 3330 down to 33 32 30 so it made a whole dollar move in like 30 minutes meanwhile from 8 a.m to pretty much 11 a.m right now almost three hours it's barely moved like 20 cents so 30 minutes for a dollar move would you rather sit there for 30 minutes and get a dollar move or would you rather sit there for three hours and get a 20 30 cent move it's just common sense it's logic you don't you know you don't need to be a rocket scientist to answer that question you know so that's what I normally do. I normally do the morning momentum, quick bang, done, get on with it, and that's that. Now, the reason I didn't is because I was a little bit tied up this morning. I was bidding on an auction, and I have like a little screenshot just because, you know, there's always those haters out there that are like, no, you didn't. They, they, like, they just want to talk, you know? They, they just, anyways, I don't want to talk about them. Uh, got all sidetracked. So I was bidding on an auction this morning. Unfortunately, I didn't win the auction. Uh, you know, I had my max set for 145. I even went a little bit higher than my 145, but. I'm not going to overpay for things. That's my number one thing. You guys go watch all my other videos. You get to know me a little bit. Follow me on Instagram. Literally, go and watch my highlights on my Instagram. I talk about this stuff on my highlights on my Instagram. They don't expire. They're there. You just go to my Instagram page. You can see it. You can hear me talk about what I'm doing, whether it's real estate or cars or whatever it is. Um, and I always talk about, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. As long as you have a good buy. You buy something for a good price, you can sell it anytime. My Lamborghini, I can sell it for a profit still. Still, two years later, I can still sell it for a profit. Why? Because I bought it cash and I got a great deal on it. Same thing with this that I was going to buy. You know, but anyways, that's besides the fact. Th this channel is mainly for like trading. And I don't know if you guys are like interested in like the other things I do. So I'm going to kind of not go off on a tangent there. Um, you, you guys, if you know me, you know what I do. I either, I'm either a stock trader or I'm in a real estate investor or I like to flip exotic cars sometimes. So, uh, that's, that's besides the fact, um, I don't want to talk about that too much there. So that's what I was doing this morning. I was a little tied up with the auction. And then once I kind of realized, all right, you know, it's getting to the point where I might not get this. It's getting close to my price, blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, let me go and do my trading. Now, the way that auction goes is it, it does like a soft close. Soft close means it's like, yeah, this auction will end at this time. But if a bid comes in, it'll extend the auction by three more minutes. So the auction kept getting extended, extended, extended. So it got to a point where I'm like, all right, dude, I'm done with it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still watching it, but, you know, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to take it higher. So I went and I said, let me see what I can do today. And that's where I got into the trade on X. So I got in it a little bit late. That's basically like what I was leading into here with this big explanation. Normally, you'll see my day trades are real quick morning momentum trades. And while this was still a quick morning momentum trade, it was a little bit different. So 1350 profit happened in less than an hour. I got in at 740. I was out at 830. And again, it was a little bit of a different trade because I got a next week expiration date. Usually if I'm within, if I'm in a trade that I'm going to be, you know, out within an hour, there's no point in buying more time or a further expiration date. You're just putting more money on the line for nothing. But because I was a little sidetracked, I was distracted with that auction. I was watching the auction bidding and everything. I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit more time because I knew I might hold the trade a little bit longer than normal. So I had a profit target of 1950. Uh, I got out a little bit short of 1950, so the, the thing didn't even get in the money. So that'll also answer some people's questions where they ask, does it have to hit the strike price in order for me to take a profit? No, it does not. So I was trading calls. I had the 19.5 strike call. I got in it 80 contracts. Again, go watch my previous videos. You'll hear me talk about what determines my contract sizing. Uh, it usually goes based on the confidence level I have in the trade and my risk level I have in the trade and how much I'm willing to risk in the trade. Uh, but I talk about that in my previous video, the one that's actually right before this, 
uh, the, the trade that I say, you know, I, I took a loss and then I bounced back. No one ever watches my losing trade videos, but I mean, they're there. Uh, so anyways, I got into the trade 80 contracts total. It shows it all broken up like this. I don't know why it does it like that. It all happened at the same exact time. It all happened at the same exact price. So yeah, I don't, I don't know why it does that, but it, it does. So anyways, I got into the trade 740 for 46 cents each. Again, just to kind of explain in case there's anybody that's still new to how options work, because some people, uh, you know, they, I don't know, they don't understand how options work. So I make these videos to kind of explain the basics of how options work and also to kind of show what I'm doing and put a little proof there too. Uh, but anyways, so I got in at 46 cents each, but options, one option is equivalent to 100. So it's not 46 cents, it's $46 each for each contract. So I had 80 contracts. So you do the math there. 46 dollars times 80 contracts that's three thousand six hundred and eighty dollars that i had invested in this trade that doesn't mean we're gonna lose three thousand six hundred and eighty if we're wrong no you have a plan you have a risk management plan you you stay disciplined you respect that plan and that's pretty much like what we do so it's not like oh if we're wrong it goes to zero i always like to give my used car example if you buy a used car for five thousand dollars thinking it's going to be able to sell for six and you're wrong it doesn't sell for six you find out oh i bought the wrong model this one's only worth blah 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 blah. what did you lose the whole entire five thousand dollars you put in the car no you go now sell the car you take a loss sell it for four thousand five hundred yay you lost five hundred dollars oh well you get what i'm trying to say it, it's life it happens no one's going to be right 100 percent of the time that's why you have these you know plans these risk management strategies but again i talk about all that in my longer videos, the videos how I talk about how I made five thousand to fourteen thousand in one month, or how I turned two hundred to three thousand dollars in one month, go watch those longer videos um, if you want those explanations. I try to keep these videos short, which I'm not doing a very good job job of on this video. But let's just wrap it up here. So, in order to place this trade, you needed to have basically three thousand six hundred and eighty in your account. So, if you had three thousand six hundred and eighty dollars, and you have the knowledge of what to do, you too could have place this trade as well. So I got into the trade 740 for 3680. Then what is that? 50 minutes later, exactly 50 minutes later. So not even an hour later, less than an hour later, that 46 turned to 63. I had calls. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. So as the value of the stock goes up, as the value of the stock increases, the value of the call option increases, along with a few other factors too as well. Uh, there's like a lot of Greeks that go into it. But anyways, that's besides the fact we'll be here for literally 12 hours if I try to explain everything to you guys. And I say that because that's literally how long my course is. It's like 12, a little bit longer than 12 hours long. It's all broken up into like individual like lessons to make it easy for you guys to understand. But anyways, I'm not here trying to rant about the course. So I sold all 40 contracts at 830 for 63 each so 63 times 80 that's 5040 so i sold it for 5040 so it's almost like if you bought a used car for 3680 then you sold it an hour later for 5040 so you sold it for 5040 subtract the cost of the trade 3680 that's where you get the 1360 dollar profit that's where we have this $1,360 profit on this trade. Here's all the orders and everything. Now, let me just go and show it to you guys on the chart. And here is the 750. So I got into it right here. I'm looking at it. And I'm like, all right, this guy's holding this 19 really well. I could see him going up and giving a nice squeeze, a nice push to 1950. That was my plan. What a coincidence. Where did it go? 1950. Not only did it go to 1950, it stopped there and reversed there. How did he know? Learn. Yeah, that's how you know. You know, I'm, I've been doing this stuff for nine years. That's how I know. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, my students know they haven't been doing it for nine years, but that's because they, you know, they took my course. That's that's the point of the course is to cut down your learning curve. I'm not trying to sell you like some kind of a get rich quick scheme saying, oh, you're going to make $10 million and drive a Lamborghini in two months. No, you know what I mean? It's just saying, hey, if you want to make money trading stocks, you want to make money from home, whatever it is you want to do, you can go learn. It'll cut down your learning curve. If you don't want to learn, you don't have to. You can still do it without taking my course. You can still go do what I did. It took me three to four years to figure it out. A lot of money and losses, but either way, I figured it out. And if I gave up along the way, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, hey, remember, never give up on your dreams. All right, so that's that's besides the fact. Let me not, uh, you know, let me go see where I got out at. 8.30 is where I got out. 
which is right here. Can I zoom out more to get a better visual? No. Doesn't give me much room to draw the thing, you know? Well, long story short, I, I mean, I got out right at the top. Right at the exact top. I didn't call the bottom. I didn't get the exact bottom. But that's okay. I got in here. I had my plan. I called the top. I got out at the top. You see what I'm saying, guys? So th there's there's a method to my madness. There's, there's something happening here. There's reasons behind why I knew to get out at this trade. Aside from the fact that I had already planned to get out at the trade at 1950, and I had an alert set there and everything, like it, it, it'll basically ding, like ding, 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 ding. Like it sends a ding to your phone and everything when it hits your, par uh, your profit level or even your risk level. You know, I'll put the alert on the risk level and the profit level. So I might say, for example, okay, I'll get out of the trade if it goes below, you know, 1895. I got in at 1905, and then I'm going to go up to, you know, 1950 if I'm right. I'll put a, an alert down here at the 19, the 1895, and then I'll put an alert at the, uh, the 1950, and then I just let it autopilot. I go on on my day, and then all of a sudden, I ding, 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 ding. Oh, I got to go look at my phone. Oh, my God, it's a profit. Oh, my God, it's a loss. Whatever it is, you do what you got to do because that's the name of the game. You, you know what I mean? You have a strategy. I, I've already mentioned that enough. I don't want to ramble about that. So that's pretty much that. I got out. Right here, and what a coincidence. It just completely reversed and kept going down, going down, going down. And if I was holding still, I would no longer have any profits. I would have given up all my profits because I got greedy. And I'm like, no, I thought it would go to 1950, but it went to 1950. He's going to 20. He's going to 21. He's going to, ah, he's just going to go up until 100. You know, you get what I'm saying, guys? You don't get greedy. You take your profits, stick to your plan. That's how you do this. So, Anyways, that's pretty much that, guys. Um, what is it? Thirteen fifty profit, fourteen hundred. Oh, I would just call it thirteen hundred for the sake of it. Uh, you know, less than an hour. Here's the orders for you guys. This is where I got in. This is where I got out. There's a method to the madness. Make sure you learn. And that's that. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm usually more active on Instagram than I am on Twitter, but follow me on both. Who is Bijan T? And like I said, make sure you check out my highlights on Instagram too if you go follow me there. So we'll wrap it up here, my friends. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe. And if you watched it all the way to the end, comment on this saying, knowledge is money. I think in the other one I said to say knowledge is power. So say knowledge is money. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day, my friends. <laughs>